Hey, you know who that is? That's restaurant. Restaurant. Uh, I saw him last night at the Echo. I'm gonna have a clip at the end. And so because I saw Troy Murrow last night, I got a, a cat for the guitar shed. So guess what? His name is Troy. Hey Troy. What up, G? Hey, guess what? If you ain't Dutch, you ain't much, baby. Look at that. What do you see here? I don't know what I see. You see what I'm talking about? What do you think? Yeah. Watch for this one. Kendra, it's cool. I don't care what you think, it's cool. Okay, the problem with Kendra is she's named after me. Ken, Kendra, you get it? You can even get that in the metric system, believe me. But, so arguing with Kendra is kind of like fighting myself. And that's what the name of that song is by a restaurant. It's called Fight Myself. I will give you a link below. This is like the planets line up for me every time when I fight myself. Okay, we're finally going to do something about a cigar boss guitar this episode. Um, you know what these are? Fingerboards. You know those slots right there? You know fret wire. You know this hammer? This is a hassle. I've got something that's going to blow you away that is makes this so much easier. You know the problem with beating these in is especially this silver nickel fret wire. You hit it the wrong way, you get a divot and it's filing at the end. You got string buzz and everything. I found a way to defeat that. So you're going to have to, this is going to be awesome because you're going to have to go to Harbor Freight and um, I'm just looking, what happened to this hanger? This is like hanger abuse. Anyway, you're going to get to make a trip to Harbor Freight. You'll be able to do this for a hundred bucks or less and it's going to turn out good product. So we're going to hit the bench and we're going to actually show you what a nightmare doing it this way is, and I'm going to give you the links I've given you in the past to fretting episodes. You'll see them pop up there where the eye is, but I'm going to show you something so cool that I don't even believe it myself. Anyway, let's hit the bench. You know what? Let's not hit the bench. You forgot to give me a like below or a dislike, metric hater, and subscribe. Always subscribe because I know your life is kind of, I know what it's all about, and then all of a sudden, that ray of sunshine comes through every week that goes, Ken's, no, the ray of sunshine is not you, Kendra. It's not. Sunshine, who is that? Liam Gallagher. He sucks. Liam Gallagher, you suck. Um, Offended. <laughs> triggered. Anyway, what, what was I saying? Anyway, when you get that notification from me, I know your life lights up. So don't forget to subscribe and get notified. And now let's get to the bench. Okay, guys, got a little setup going on here on the bench. I've got a sample. Uh, this is one of my templates for putting um, the tailpiece holes where the string keepers go. But we'll go ahead and use this. Got some uh, fret slots cut into it. And this is a standard size um, fretboard once we get it cut down from this. You see that we always cut each side off. But anyway, fast forward. We're at this point. And we've got this fret wire. I'm using jumbo fret wire here uh, just to kind of show you. And then we've cut the end off like I usually do. Again, there's fretting videos up there where the eyes are. Just hover your mouse right up there. The eye will drop down. You'll see these. But anyway, what we do is we take the end of this and we put my glasses on first so my old man can see. So I'm going to put this right here like so. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to tap this into that slot. And I'm going to take my fret pliers. Always get a good pair of fret pliers, please. I'm not going to endorse anybody, but do you see that? Yeah, okay. Then I'm just going to put this like this, snip it off like so. Then I'm going to smack this like that. You see that? That looks pretty good. Uh, I can see a couple of the tangs right there. Do you see them? So I'm going to hit it a few more times. And then what's going to happen is at the end, when I get all the frets on, I'm going to have to take one of these big files and a little file and a big file. And then I got that fancy, where is it? 
Remember this gadget to do the end filing on the fret. Remember this, it's got that little slot there and you can just go like this. Yeah, you need one of these. But in any event, what a hassle. You get down to the end, you're running behind, you're trying to deliver your guitar and then you got a bunch of fret mess. So, I'm gonna show you something where you can get rid of this method for doing it and you're gonna love this. Oh my gosh, you are not going to believe this. Look at this puppy. This is the Harbor Freight One Ton Arbor Press. It's got this here uh, that goes up and down. You can put stuff in here. And then you just pull this down until it comes down and mashes whatever you're trying to do. You, I guess you could use it for bearings or whatever you want. But we are going to make a fret press out of this thing. So... First thing I got to do, it's pretty easy to dismantle. Remember those? Oh, yeah. So, you take, there's a collar right over here, um, and you just take an Allen wrench, and you pull this collar off here. See that? Allen wrench. Set that off to the side. That lets you pull this out. Lay that down. It lets you pull this off. Now, do you see this, the end piece? You want to make sure that the gears here are pointed that way and that this is the top. And so what we're going to do is we're going to tape this off and we are going to take a center punch, which looks like this. We're going to tape this off and find the center of this. And we're going to smack the hell out of this with a hammer so it gives us a little place to drill. And then we're going to take a small bit, like so, and drill a starter hole where our punch, center punch was. And then we're going to expand that to drill this bigger hole. Now this bit, what size is this bit? Well, it's the same size as this fretting call, C-A-W-L, from Stumac. It is off of, it's a part of, off of one of their fret presses that's very expensive. Now, what's the difference between the fret press from this company and Harbor Freight? If you get the right coupons and stuff, you will walk out the door with this Arbor Press from Harbor Freight somewhere around $30. If you get lucky and find one that's in an op open box or something, you may get around $20. This right here is going to cost you about $55. There is an Allen uh, uh, head right there. There it is. And it accepts these brass inserts that this one's flat. Why is this one flat? Well, because it says flat on it. Hey, no, it's flat because the fret boards on our cigar box guitars are not radiused. Uh, on your bigger six strings, you typically find a radius fretboard. And so you would find these that have radiuses and they sell them. But you want the flat one and the fretting call. Now, before I forget, once this hole is in here, so it accepts this, where you can turn it any way, you're going to have to have something to keep it in there. And so you're going to drill a hole right here to accept this set screw right here. How are you going to do that? Well, you find the same size bit as this is. And then you get into your Do Not Covet My Tap and Die set. It's got a bunch of them in here. And whichever one matches the threads on this looks like that one. You're going to thread that in the hole right here so you can screw the Allen plug down and hold this gadget in into your fret press. Okay, so I think that's enough um, attention so we can turn the music on again so we're not distracted. But let's look at what it looks like once I do all that. All right, check it out. My friend Ryan in the mechanic shop, he fixed me up. Look at that. That hole accepts this. See that? Then I can turn this any way I want. Then I take this gadget 
and it's nice and threaded. And I'm gonna take my Allen wrench and tighten that down and look, look at that, there we go. Um, but Ryan, who I call U2 because he looks like Bono, rigged me up with this. This is fancy, look at this. I just put that in there like so. Ooh, look at that, and then I can press this in like this, move this out of the way any, any way I want or whatever. But this gadget right here, I don't know what it's called, the automatic cool device or something like that, but that helped me out. Now let's put this thing together and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we got that out. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna put the teeth towards the back. We're gonna slide this down to about right there. Then we're gonna take this, slide this back in here till it lines up like so. And then I'm gonna take, remember our collar? It fits on over here. I'm gonna take the Allen wrench and tighten up the collar so it doesn't come off. There we go. Now this goes up and down. I wanna make sure I got enough room here to put this in. And I'm gonna want this to line up straight like this and put this in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up straight like this. And I'm gonna do my final tightening my fancy gadget here. Make sure that's all plumb. Nice thing about that is I can turn it if it hangs up on something like that. Okay, it's getting tight now. Line it up straight. I guess I could use a straight edge or something, but I'm just gonna eyeball it like that. Now, this is gonna be in the way, so if I pull that out and come around and get it out of the way like so, I'm good. Point it to the back like that. Now, when I take this, it comes up and down. You see that like that? Perfect. Now, I forgot to put this in, so I will slide this in. It would be a lot easier to do it the other way, but whatever. And, of course, it's on the other side where I can stick my face in the camera. No, it's over here. And then I just tighten this up like so. Slide it back that way, just a little. Look at that, there we go. So I got the call in, I've got the flat brass insert. Now what? So I got this piece of scrap neck wood cut off right there, sitting on that. I'm gonna take my fret wire. I am still gonna use that hammer just to tap the end a little bit like that. I'm gonna take my fret pliers. I'm gonna cut this. Now watch this, there is no beating on it a hundred times. I just set this here like so and I line this up like so. And then I just mash this down like so and pick it up. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so the best thing you can do is take a piece of wood like this, drill how many frets you're gonna have, 21, 22, 18, whatever you have, and put numbers on the holes. You wanna make the drill bit about the same. Let's get behind that back black background. A little bit bigger than the fret wire so they're not slopping all over the place. Anyway, you drill all those holes in here, you number them, and then you go down your fret board and you figure out is number one this size, uh, and you just cut them all, and then you put them in their respective slots going all the way down here. Then you just set this in front of your press, you pick out number one, if this is number one, and then you just set it up here and use this. That's the easiest way to do this. I'll tell you what, for a hundred bucks or less, this thing beats this all to hell. This is great workout music. So, hey, this frat press, this cheap frat press, 
was this it or what? Man, I'm so buff. I will see you next time. Now watch for that little clip of my friends from Restaurant Planet at the Echo on November 2nd. <sighs> Hit it.